So we're getting ready to go on our first test hike with the new Saker K9 pack system. They have the harnesses on right now, and I've got the saddle bags in the carry bags that came with it. They're not going to carry anything. They're just going to wear the harness with the saddle bags attached. And then I'm packing one of the Slurpee sacks, but I'm going to carry it. Today's hike is just to get them used to wearing a new system. There's no weight in it at all. But I also want to try out the Slurpee sacks on trail. So I'll carry the Slurpee sack. They're just going to wear the empty uh, pack system. And we're going to see if anything chafes, if anything needs to be adjusted, and just get them used to wearing it. We have about a two-hour drive. Um, we're going to go up to one of the canyons. The dogs will have to be leashed because this particular area is a state park, and so dogs have to be leashed. But it'll still give us an opportunity to uh, get out there and put some of this gear to use. He's a bison. That's a bison. That one's pooping.
everybody so we just got back into town we went to Cap Rock Canyon State Park to do a trial run with the new Saker canine uh, dog pack system we did really well actually the buckles only came unclipped once what I've discovered is that when you put the saddlebags on it actually covers the buckles one buckle came undone one time in a four and a half hour hike seven miles we did the dogs did it with empty saddlebags just to get used to the harness and all of that. Um, they did really well and I'm super happy with the Slurpee sacks. I'm just, I'm really excited about those. Um, the only thing is I'm having a little bit of trouble screwing the caps back on when I refill the bottles. Sometimes I, it got unthreaded and it was a little bit challenging to screw the cap on. But aside from that one little issue, those Slurpee sacks are like, they may seriously make a night and day difference in our hiking because I can pull one out of the backpack. I can fold out the little bowl and press the button in and give the dogs water like instantaneously. I don't have to pour it in a bowl. When it's in the bowl, I don't have to dump it out if they leave water in there. I'm not wasting any water. Um, I'm just really happy with the Slurpee sex. So, I've got a little bit of a video, it'll probably be short because I didn't re actually record very much on this trip, but um, it was a great hike and I really think that we're going to love this system. I'm excited. Um, the only other thing that I thought about today was the sun was beating down pretty good today and I kind of was starting to regret getting Jaffe the black backpack system. I almost wish I would have gotten him the blue one because I feel like the black soaks up more sun. I felt it off and on throughout the hike and it didn't really feel that much warmer than Hazel's green one, but it was a little bit warmer. And so I kind of at this point I'm wishing I had gotten the blue pack for Jaffe, but um, it is what it is and I think it'll be fine. It wasn't really that much hotter um, than Hazel's pack but the Slurpee sacks are going to be a game changer for us when we're out on the Colorado Trail this season. Really excited about using the system. So I think at this point, even if they don't get the replacement mail buckle sent out to us before we hit the Colorado Trail this year, we would use those packs anyway, I think, at this point. Because like I said, the saddlebags actually cover the buckles. And I only had one buckle come unlatched one time in four and a half hours in a seven mile hike. So not bad at all. Overall, I'm really happy and uh, I'm excited about these. I'm glad I purchased them. So hopefully more to come.